Hey guys, I'm Aaron Lavoie, the Midwestern Hoof Trimmer, and in this video, we're gonna be going to trim a cow for one of my viewers. I got a Facebook message from a woman named Cindy who told me that she's having a hard time getting somebody to come and trim her cow. She has one pet cow, and nobody wants to show up for one. We typically don't do this sort of thing because our living is made doing farms that are on normal schedules, larger, set up for the whole day, groups of up to 60, 70 cows. And it takes the same amount of time to set up for one as it does for 50. So I can understand how she had a hard time getting a trimmer out, but when she reached out and she's only 30 minutes from where I live, I said, I'll come and trim it for you, Cindy, as long as we can make a YouTube video out of it, which she said, yes. So I'm gonna jump in the truck. We're gonna go to Cindy's house and trim up her cow. I forget the cow's name she told me, but um, we'll find that out when we get there. All right, well, we're all set up. We're gonna get Lucy and bring her in. Uh, I like to wear a hat under my face shield to keep all the, to keep all the hoof chips and stuff out of my hair. And like always, I'll leave my gloves in the truck. All right, Lucy, ready for a pedicure? Oh yeah. Right. So no one's going here, I don't want that ball around. Go big girl. We're fine, we're fine. Come on, big mama. You're good. Come on, girl. Let's go, big girl. Let's go. All right, so Lucy's got a bunch of gravel and clay, but that's because she's on a really nice pasture perfect spot for a pet So Lucy's got a little bit of an axial wall fissure. It's not gonna be a problem um, with her being on 
nice ground all the time but something we'll definitely want to keep an eye on anybody want to come and see the before and after just don't go by her face too much okay you can come right here and look at this one compared to that one. Oh wow back break Um, you might want to go on this side though, oh, or well, it's still be right here because this is the direction the tips are going to fly. Okay. Alright, so Lucy doesn't really have a bad foot. She's just got a little bit of accumulation of hoof. So we're going to take a little length off here and a little toe thickness. And then this claw, we're going to rotate over. She's got quite a bit of extra heel depth here. So we're gonna take a little bit down and lean over, give her a little model. Not that she's gonna get a sole ulcer because she's not on concrete. got her cleaned up I had to take a little bit from a crack that she had here on her axial wall on the white line but not much it's better to investigate that than to let it turn into a deeper crevice accumulate rocks or gravel and become a problem See if we took this foot and Talk just to me. yeah. Oh. <laughs> if we just took this foot and went in, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be changing anything. These bones are crooked. Her bones are like this, and her hoof is like that. So it's putting a lot of pressure oh. on her joint. Okay. So I'm gonna take this one and turn it in, and that's going to square this claw up. That's this open. one I'm gonna turn it in a little bit as well. And there's some natural shedding, right? There's a, there's a lot of shedding, but because her hooves are somewhat wet from being out there, it's not shedding great. Okay.
Yeah, hey, Lucy. All right, so that concludes it for Lucy's first pedicure. Hey, big mama, and you said she's three? Yeah. Three years old, perfect. All right, you ready to go back out, big girl? That went very well. I'm sure she's happy. This is a big deal for her being uh, on a hobby farm and not a cow that's handled daily milking and stuff. Um, just anything out of the ordinary causes stress, but she looks like she's totally fine with her new petty. Does that look a little better? <laughs> Let's go say bye to Lucy. And then she's all done and happy. Come here, big mama. Come here. Oh yeah. All right, well that is it for Lucy's first pedicure. Till next time. Catch you on the flip flop. Bye. <laughs>